He's such an asshole. Uh-oh. Whoa. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We were doing a thing. We were doing a thing. We were doing you, a video. You certainly were. Well, welcome to the rundown, friend. Wow. I didn't you, know I was going to be on the rundown. So you we want to doing. explain what thing you were doing? You're like, uh, Why don't what's you put your name? mic on first? Uncle Leo. Yeah, let's do it. doing an let's Uncle Leo thing? Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. OK. You are you doing to go? an Uncle Leo thing? Are you guys good to go? We were doing morning sunshine. Well, Hang on. Uh, so it's the rundown. And Brandon is, is this his face. He's I, Uncle Leo. I didn't know I was going to be on the rundown today. We were doing morning sunshine. OK. And there was a bit. Is it clearly a bit? Kate has really bad eyebrows, and I was making fun of her. I think Kate has beautiful eyebrows. Kate has totally eyebrows. normal eyebrows. She Why looks like Anthony say, Davis. Why would you say that about her? That's you so mean. Are, you're talking shit about someone's eyebrows you're right now. First of all, forget about your fake eyebrows. You don't have eyebrows. Your real eyebrows are just, are, did you shave them off, or is that Why what you Why would you say like? that about Kate's eyebrows? You can't talk shit about eyebrows. Look at, his eyebrows don't exist. Why did y'all call me you in just to like shit Charlie on me? You look like Charlie Villanueva. We didn't. Why you, did y'all call me in just to shit? He has a medical condition. Yeah, well, apparently you do, too. Where I don't have a I do. I have a bad heart. What? That was mean when you said to Kate. I know it was mean when I said to Kate. That was a whole bit on Morning Sunshine. Look at her. She looks beautiful. She's sad now. You're ugly. She's not. Kate's I'm, crying. She's ugly too. No, no she's not. What? Why are you, her you can't say that. You just called her ugly? That was our bit. OK. <laughs> Man. It's not a good bit at all. I think the bit is that your face is ugly. Am I on the rundown, or is this just? No, yeah. we're on the rundown. Fuck it. Okay. This is the rundown. It's the mighty. It's brought to you by Dude Wipes. What's wrong with your voice? I've been screaming about Cespedes for about 24 hours. <laughs> uh, the rundown is presented by Dude Wipes. It's the original flush wipes for dudes. Uh, it's better than toilet paper. It's multi-purpose. They've got the wet wipes. You can oh, use them man. anywhere on your body, not just your ass. Oh, They've got uh, a whole line of awesome <laughs> products now. They've got the new Dude Wiper. It's a bidet that uh, attaches to your toilet. So it's a lean, mean, poop destroying machine. They've got a dude bomb. It's two in one bomb that you drop into the toilet prior to when you take a shit. We, we know for a fact that Brandon Walker drops some like dad shit, Dude right? bombs. You must fucking fill that toilet up. I bet your family like runs for the hills. What the fuck are we doing? I bet you're, I, when you shit. poop, forget about it. Yeah, I take they, big poops. They, they smell that back in Mississippi. Don't That's like, holy in. shit. Daddy's in here. We have yeah. Mississippi toilets. They can handle it. Oh, man. Uh, it it neutralizes the stank, so you need all the Dude White products. You got to put the Dude Bomb in before you shit. You got to wipe after you shit. You got to use the Dude Bomb, uh, the, dude, the Dude White bidet. And, uh, and then even maybe then, we might not fucking choke and die from the smell. I believe in our sponsors. Uh, go to dudeproducts.com, uh, or you can go to Amazon or Walmart. Use the code RUNDOWN at checkout, 10% off at dudeproducts.com. <clears throat> OK. Um, You're going to make it. He's going to make it. I'm going to hit you with this fucking bat. <laughs> Are gonna you going to make it? So Cespedes disappears. Uh, he opts out. He basically consoled himself, and the Mets are in like full-blown Mets spiral territory. And I can't blame him for leaving. I'm surprised he did it in a contract year. That, I mean, everybody had hopes for Cespedes because this is the one year he was going to try to get paid again. And he just said, fuck it, I'm going home. Uh, Mets fans ranged from thinking he was golfing to that he was fucking dead. Dead, yeah. Uh, which is actually kind of on the table with him and all his cartel history. Um, but he just said, peace, I'm gone. Now I can't tell whether maybe he actually did it the right way and the Mets are the ones being assholes. Or if he was a dickhead and just said, like, okay. I'm not telling anybody. There was an odd 15 to 20 minutes there yesterday where everybody was making jokes. And, it was and like, I guess Twitter collectively grew a conscience for a second. Mm -hmm. so, oh, he might be dead. Mm -hmm. Well, I know for a fact people in the Mets organization uh, were like, you never know with Yo. He's, he runs with some, like, shady people. He's in some shady circles. We always, like, can assume the worst with him. Turned out he was just You never know about anybody, guy. though. If you, if no, yeah. if you yeah. don't hear from somebody. Right. Especially in this it, day and age yeah, with, with right. cell phones and shit. It's just, um, it's very funny slash special, Kevin, that amidst everything that's going on in the world, and like teams literally haven't played for a week, yep. the Mets are somehow the biggest disaster. Yep. And they haven't had coronavirus. I know. They're, they're, no. they're totally fine. Completely healthy. Yep. Fucked up. <laughs> that's why, I mean, I always say people like, you know, why are me and guys like Frank the Tank so negative? Whoa, meet the Mets, meet the Mets, step right up and kill yourself. It's like, it's shit like this. It's not just that we're bad. It's that we're always the laughing stuff. And I motherfucking hate you, Lemus Diaz. I motherfucking hate you.
I think we're finally far enough away where we can no longer say they went to the World Series Yes, in it's been five fucking years. <laughs> I don't know, five years. That was, it seems like it's been longer than There five was years, a though. time when you were complaining. It's like, dude, you went to the World Series last year, yeah. but now it's no. been long enough and, time. And, and, and that, that goes into Cespedes, too. People are like, hey, Cespedes is like back. It's like, the last time he was good was a full five yeah. years ago. If you look at the last three years of his contract, because now he's done as a Met, it's like, Total. It's like 27 home runs and like 100 but RBIs in like three seasons. It's terrible. With him and the Mets, you say he's done as a Met. I, yeah, the retreads will bring him back. Cespedes yeah. too is one of those guys. You know, we always talk about um, like wet, like especially in college football, the East Coast bias. You know, not staying up late to watch West Coast games. Mm -hmm. I think it actually helped him because there was that time when he was at the A's, where it's like you didn't watch, but all you saw was highlights of him fucking throwing like 300 feet, foot. Uh, mm -hmm. bombs mm -hmm. to the plate and hitting 500 foot home runs you're like this guy's incredible you see him on a day in day out basis yeah. i mean he swings at every ball in the dirt he, he'll put up like he has this year he had two home runs so he probably would have had like a decent home run total but the rest of the time he's been a fucking catastrophe he hits bombs and he is a yeah. walking highlight rip. that's the thing when he that, does yeah, something right. good yeah. it's you don't like see everything fun. else yeah. right uh so close the book on that you just go ahead and just cancel the whole Mets. I need, I, the, I need I the season to be canceled. I close the book on the Mets, though, because I bet they could do some other fucked up shit. Oh, oh, oh I thought yeah, you, yeah, I'm yeah. closing yeah. the book on them being, like, good and, season. And the Yankees are really And that's the real good. problem. <laughs> the real problem is that Aaron Judge, people are just going to keep apparently grooving pitches down the fucking middle to him until he breaks the goddamn record in a 60-game 60, uh, 60 season. Uh, I need this season to be canceled, or I need all of us to God. band together and, like, promise that we say that this is a fake season. When the Yankees win the World Series, if we'll the all just win. I'm not doing season. it yet. He's Cubs gonna deal good. with the Cubs yeah. first. But if the Yankees win, I will, I will join the Yankees. The minute the Cubs I, are eliminated, but only the I'll, I'll agree with you, but not totally until fake. then. Totally fake. Yankee fans won't be able to go to the parade. They won't be able to go out in the Bronx. None of it. It's a fake season. Go ahead and win it this year. The Cubs are not gonna win, don't worry. Call it a fake season. Oh man, might win. pretty good. Pretty good. Chatwood's a fucking ace. Braves are good. God, I, I mean I hope. I, just anybody but the Yankees. I'm at, I'm in that mode. Anybody but the Yankees. Could be the Phillies, could be the Cubs. I don't give a fuck. I mean, the Yankees have figured out ways to lose in the last couple of years anyway. Well, I mean, so. the Aaron Judge injury will come. It, it happens every year. Mike Stanton will get hurt. Uh, and let's just hope it's for an extended period of time. Yeah, that's right, I'm rooting for injuries. Um, what else do we got? What happened? <laughs> the NBA's back. That's my surprise look. The, N <laughs> the NBA's back. NBA uh, is fantastic. Awesome. It's the best sport we have going right now. Absolutely. It's, it's, it's the only one that I feel like is is not losing its they luster at all. They have done such a good job with all of it. Like, I, I really, know, like, knowing how everything is so crazy right now, watching an NBA game, like, I watched all of uh, the Blazers, I watched all the Bucks, uh, Rockets. Yeah. It feels exciting, and it feels, like, tense, and the playoffs are going to be great. Yep. Not having crowds somehow enhances it because you don't get those home runs. You don't get those long runs of momentum. And whereas the Celtics and Blazers were just back and forth punching each other yep. for like 15 minutes yep. of real game time. I also think they should, uh, you know, we're getting a little bit of it mic'd up. Like you can hear a little bit more, but if they could enhance that and get some, I know you can't because of like language, but if you could give us more behind the scenes mic'd up, that would be awesome. LeBron having like a big moment in the return with uh, that bucket and then like locking him down was huge. Uh, yeah, but he was like minus 17 the other uh -oh. night. Yeah, didn't play yeah, well. But have it. Anthony Davis didn't play well. Although I don't understand. Like, I was watching that Lakers, um, who are they playing? Raptors? Lakers-Raptors on Saturday night? Yeah. I really don't understand how anyone can guard LeBron and Anthony Davis in pick and roll and why they don't just do it every like, time. Like, they should just yeah. slow it down and yeah. just run that every single time. Yeah. The Raptors also lost maybe the best player in the world and are still just as good. They're very they're, they're they're a good. They're just a good organization, which is like, great... you know, you never would have said that like 20 years ago. They, yeah. they were kind of the laughing stock. And they're just like always quality, always there. Which is super infuriating for like a for like a Knicks fan, where it's like they can. They That's also the thing, Kevin. I, yeah. Kevin, I'm <laughs> sure you feel the same way. Like not having the Bulls involved is actually nice. Oh, it's like one less thing to enjoy about. watching yep. basketball yep. and not be like, oh, what time do the Bulls play to get their fucking shit kicked out mm -hmm. of them? Uh, LeBron showed up rocking, uh, you know, a LeBron outfit, short shorts, matching button up. Looked like it was like silk or something. And uh, Aubrey Huff took ex exception with that told the young men of the world this is not how men should dress. Beta. Uh, yeah, beta cuck, big time beta cuck. And um, people pointed out that he wore that thong during the <laughs> Giants World Series run. He wore a thong for a, wor a, a month straight. I'm sure all of you have heard about the rally thong. 
Right, if you've seen Zoolander, I have a special talent just for you. Uh, but even forget about that. It's just like, just shut the fuck up, dude. That's Who fine. Cares? That's fine. That's fine. And and maybe going so far as to saying men shouldn't dress like this, whatever. You shouldn't say that, but. That's also kind of LeBron's outfit was ridiculous. But who I cares? Mean, like, you got the short like, shorts on. Cares. Look at you. You're showing a little thigh. No, I, I got good thigh. The thing I go I back to is, Yo, if you how were, can it, you care? How can you care that much? He shouldn't care that much. I agree. It's insane Tweeting to me. Tweeting about it's ridiculous. Still a ridiculous outfit. But it's a ridiculous outfit for like you or me. No, it's a ridiculous no, outfit. No, it's not. When you are a fucking. Uh, it's a Adonis super short. and a See, super yeah, and, and like Kevin's a right. superstar. See, you know, celebrities, athletes, entertainers, the they dress funny. But they funny. know they can get away with yes, wearing that's what he's right. doing. But they, right. but they do. They, they, we wear jeans and hoodies because we're schlubs. They wear silk I'm, fucking matching short shorts because they can. No, I'm, we can't. Yes, yes no, they Brandon, can. You have to understand something, when, especially in the NBA. When, when you're in that good of shape, it's. It's almost like a challenge, like how, how silly can I ridiculous look? Yeah. can I look and still look good? I'd, I'd, I'd walk through the tunnels naked. I would show up just Seriously. fucking naked because yes. I could. I would be wearing see-through fucking, you know, everything. <laughs> I, would, I would put on clothes, but they would just be see-through. Absolutely. Like, look at me. I just look at my dick just hanging out. Look yeah. at my abs. I, I'm a fucking god. I just think they look ridiculous, and I'm against looking ridiculous in a professional work setting. Final Jeopardy. Everybody was there. Your health. You're in Jeopardy. Because <laughs> you're a uh, fat piece of shit, okay? That's why you are... What is only a little bit of time left? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my well God. Well played, well played. Uh, second half of the rundown is brought to you by Felix Gray. Uh, <laughs> no chance I could read that. That's yeah, that's like, the worst. That's like written in white on white. But we know what the deal with Felix Gray is. Uh, it filters out the blue light. You can look at your screen all day long. We're all, we've all been doing it for months. You can't go out. You're not doing anything outside. You're going to look at your phone or your tablet or your so screen. It's the loudest chair it's ever. Wor- and, and Andrew said he <laughs> fixed chair. it last week. I think so I, I think me sitting on it is broken you were, the chair. You weren't even moving. I know. It's, 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 like, it's like, oh, great. It's like, it just speaks. Uh, the Felix Gray glasses do the ever scroll where you can look at your screen all day, all night, 24 hours a day. It filters out the harmful blue light that... Uh, can hurt your vision vision, and, and make your eyes sting. It's made with premium Italian materials, so it's actually a quality pair of glasses, as well as uh, looking sharp. It takes uh, all the harmful uh, rays out. So go to felixgray.com slash rundown. Yeah, yeah felixgrayglasses.com right. slash rundown to try your pair today. That's felixgrayglasses.com slash rundown. Um, Shipping and returns are totally free. My man. Yeah, what else we got? Can we talk about Dave's tweet? Sure, what was the Dave's tweet? He tweeted that he doesn't like sports, oh, sports. right now. Yeah. He, yeah, he said something to the effect of, I can't believe anybody's getting into sports because it feels like an exhibition, which I understand, it. like basketball, not so much. Baseball certainly feels that way. I don't think, I think baseball feels pretty good. I think that when I first started watching, the cardboard cutouts and the pumped in noise seemed okay. Yeah. And then as bigger moments kept happening, I was like, oh, wait a minute. But Judge's this... home run felt really big the other night. All right, Last so night. Base, baseball The feels, announcers are really what matters. Baseball feels normal out. except for two things. One, half the league just doesn't play in a given <laughs> On a night. night yeah. mm-hmm. <laughs> like just looking at the scoreboard and seeing postponed. And then two. That's a little weird. The extra inning rules is like softball. I can't believe that they. It's crazy. I mean, universally. Is there anybody out there who's like, this is awesome. These rules are great. No, and it's, I, everybody I, the Cubs went to extra them, right? innings yesterday. I kind of like it. What? No, dude. It's so weird. You're weird with baseball, it's though. You're so like weird a sports purist It's, all, it's not only weird, but it's also so demoralizing to not be able to fucking get a run home when, when you, you have start with the guy on well, second with wh- no wh- out. What, what happened to the Mets? Tip, you know what? the game's going to end fairly soon. I know, but that's... Yeah, I mean, I guess that's the point I of it. Get, they wanted yeah, to no, do that. No, I get why they're doing it. it. Just be, it feels like softball. When the Mets blew, when Diaz blew his first save in the ninth, and then immediately there was a man on second and he scored. It was just like bam, bam, like you had a win, and then all of a sudden it was gone. On fucking believable. Yeah. And I know you, the bottom half of the inning has the same advantage. Yeah. But it feels, I mean, when when someone scores a top ten off a leadoff single. A leadoff single used to be like, all right, we'll figure it out. And right. single now, the game's over. You can lead off the inning now with a two-run home run. Yeah, that's stupid. That's Ain't crazy. that a thing? Isn't that something? 
Uh, but, so what, you disagree with Dave uh, not getting into sports? Because yeah, I feel like I just, most people are going to be on his side here. You could score Why? a run with you three pop flies. I think, no, I, I, I think, think so. that most people are... I think universally people are kind of enjoying the fact that sports has come back. Well, I think, enjoying, uh, I think they want it more than no sports, but I do think that, like, empty stands and, and like, weird... The Basketball weird is just as good as it's ever been. UFC is is really good without crowds, and golf is fantastic But I told crowds. you this on, on, on Pick Central. Gambling Dave is out. He's out right now. He's out in the woods. So it's just stocks, Dave. When if I knew I could just be doing this... Earlier, I would have more money than God right now. I would have more money than God. I'll see you tomorrow. When he comes mm -hmm. back, it will be normal again. I was going to say, is out. he betting like, at you all? You just got to let, no, you just gotta let he, him be out there. If like, he has a big bet going, he's not going to give a fuck. But you know this, Kevin. He goes up and down. There'll be times in, in Barcelona history where he'll stop gambling. He'll stop watching sports. You just got to let him have his space, and then eventually he'll come on home. Amazon just went up 2%. It's ripping. Amazon's ripping. Amazon's ripping. Amazon's ripping. Mm -hmm. Why don't you go get him? He'll, he'll come back. You can't go. You can't force it. He's like a it. straight cat. Can't yeah, you, can't can't like, like, can't you can't be like, come here, kitty. If and you start chasing home, him, he's going to run farther right, away. Right. He'll you leave, a, leave a little saucer of milk out. He'll well, come home. Why to come back? Eventually, he'll come back inside. By the way, I mean, he, we thought maybe he was going to come back today. He didn't. He's in Montauk, so I don't know <laughs> when we're we'll actually see him. Um, but uh, I, I feel like, you know what's really terrible without fans? Wrestling. Yes, wrestling, wrestling never sucks. worked. It was the first great. thing to come back, and it is a Well, one company diet. figured it out. AEW has figured it out. WWE has not. No. So I'll just say that for the wrestling people out there. Um, I know you guys don't watch it. That's fine. Wilford Brimley died. We, we did this bit about uh, Regis last week. Yeah. He is oh, yeah. even He's more so than Regis. Forever old. Re Wilford Brimley died at the age of uh, uh, 85. 85. He's been 85 since 1985. Forever. It's unbelievable that when he got famous 35 years ago, he was 50. He, he was the looked. coach in the natural, and he was 50. It's yes. crazy. He had a white mustache and white hair since, you know, from the womb. Uh, but forever known as the Quaker Oats guy, more importantly, the diabetes guy. And I said, I think he was the original, like, meme. When you think about his name, his mustache, his, his, his speech, his jokes, unintentional humor, he was on Family Guy. Like, I mean, there was something about him back before we even did these kind of jokes that people were like, Wilford Brimley is that funny fucking guy. He changed the pronunciation, the pronunciation, excuse me, he changed the pronunciation of, of a word. word. Yeah. I say mm -hmm. diabetes now. Because, do you actually say that? Like, I, I say if you're diabetes. Not a joke? I, I, don't think, I don't think to say, oh, it's actually diabetes. Yeah, diabetes. So, but he, it's diabetes. <laughs> the way he says it. Hi, I'm Wilford Brimley, and I have diabetes. diabetes. It hurts me to pee, and it causes me to be short with my family. Incredible. He's an all-time legend. From, from commercials, I know some people know him from The Natural and The Thing and Cocoon, but like 90% of people are going to be like, the diabetes guy. Mm -hmm. So rest in peace to him. Um, there was something else. Yeah, there was something a lot else. of other things. Oh, yeah, like what? I don't know. Don't be a dick. I don't know. You well, just, there was, there was a, you just so, so don't be silly. Still coronavirus out there. Yeah. Still, corona does still exist. Some sports. I thought there was something else. Uh, all the interns. We're walking over. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that in a minute. Oh, so XFL's back. XFL. The, the Rock, Rock bought, bought XFL. the XFL for $15 million, which is embarrassing for the XFL that you would buy a whole thing for $15 million. But I really think that's just 15 mil down the drain. What is yeah. he going to do with it? It's never going to work. Hats. What's it's never going to work. $15 million right. to him, though. I get it. But it's also like, you know, we, we, Justin, like, Justin Timberlake built, bought MySpace for $35 million. It could work. And that's like, the Rock. No. Nope. It's it will rock. never work. It will never work, it's guys. It will never work. I feel like The Rock can make anything work. I, I mean, I know what you mean, but this is just no. It's just no. no. It's just not going to work. No. Maybe. Stop. Stop nope. trying to what make it alternative happen. Alternative leagues just don't Stop. work. Yes. The best shot they would have had was the new one that got canceled because of Corona, and it was just like, that was it. That was but even that was like, we were just about to get in March Madness. I was, no one's going to care once, like, it's February and March gone. are college basketball. Then That's it goes to hockey and, and sure NBA. Like, the it sports up. calendar is it's set. The only time it could really actually work is probably if you try to do like a July and August, which is getting never, into football. So hot, yeah. It's right. The, the Weather-wise, won't work, and it, like you need something catastrophic to happen to one of the four major leagues to have a alternative league work. That's just it. <clears throat> After show, it is intern day here, intern week. Um, you know, we met they're all here, bright-eyed, yeah. bushy tail. They have a lot of hope. Dyed blonde hair. Yeah, yeah I like their that, hair. that guy's hair is crazy. What's your name? Sean. Sean's hair is Every, just come on. Pretty much to a man, all the dudes have to. Sean, hair. show everyone your uh, class ring. <laughs> Casey, you got another class ring here? Just right here. Yeah, Notre Dame. That, oh, God. that nice. hair um, is. Uh, is that bet? your normal hair, or is that for this? Um, like 
Like, has your hair been that way for a long time? Now? So I, I started uh, bleaching it during quarantine. Okay, so it's relatively Just, new, but it was not for Barstool. It's for it wasn't for Barstool. Okay. Are you on I TikTok? Was, You're supposed to uh, drink the really. bleach, dude. It would I, be. I figured it was a TikTok bowl. Drink it. To it was be <laughs> coronavirus. It was actually supposed hair. to be blue today. But I So you were going to do something stupid well, for this. The thing was, I wanted to dye it blue, but okay. it's been looking like this for a bit. And I didn't want day one to be, like, I knew it was going to get roasted either way. Oh, yeah. You're looking, I, could, I didn't want I, day one to be silly. So I was like, I yeah. Yeah. Like silver this. or blue? All right. Why did you want it to be blue? Uh, I've done blue before, and I like the color. Also, where, So where the white is was going to be blue? The whole, the whole thing? thing was going to be blue. Okay. So why, why is the bottom brown? I just got a haircut, and those are the roots. Okay. Yeah, so <laughs> okay. the issue is when I bleach it, it turns yellow. If I go blue, it'll turn Dude, like, Brandon's silver. Brandon's looking at me like, these are the people they warned me about when I moved up north. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, this has got to be shell shock for you, huh? My uncle cannot watch this. <laughs> it, was also, it was pink at one point. <laughs> My uncle cannot watch uh -huh. this. That's great. Who else we got? You got stupid hair, too. Yeah. You got TikTok hair, too. Yeah. Are you, are you on TikTok? A good start. I mean, I mean, I'm on TikTok, but I'm not. Yeah, exactly. like you're not like I'm a not, TikToker. Yeah, I'm not a wiggle dick. How about your hair is always like this? No, I mean, I also just dyed it during quarantine. Okay. And we were bored, and yeah. Okay. It's darker on the sides, and I also cut it. Yes. So same story. Why? I don't know. Why? We were bored. When quarantine came why? out, why? Just How old a bunch you? of guys say, "I'm gonna dye 22. my hair." 22. Yeah, I mean, I feel like uh, a lot of people did a lot of weird shit during quarantine yeah. to just people like shave their heads and stuff. Make their way through it. The, uh, bleach look instead. So. You stopped eating bacon. No, oh, I, I started back. That's okay. far worse. Well, what? Dine, dine you had some hair? stank on that. Not, yeah. not eating bacon? No, I eat bacon. Okay. Yeah, a but lot. you stop. I, I eat a pack a day. Yeah, but you People stop. were saying, like, so there's Brandon, hair, you... he doesn't eat bacon. I just realized I got this fucking eyebrow shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, also, yeah, wait, yeah, oh God, also. Hair yeah, you're, yeah, you're sitting on our appearance and you're uh, doing it. Who else we got? This is for a bit, come sir. Come on down, somebody else. Yeah, come maybe on this down. is for Come Kevin. here, come here, somebody else. And you you, you got to, like, interview all these people. Not you, Derek. No, not you, Derek. Not you, You've Derek. Been oh, here. Derek. Derek's always trying to be on camera. We asked Derek how to spell his name. He said with two E's. Like, All right, thanks, dude. Who fuck said? Oh yeah, oh, this boy. guy. This fucking What's up, guy. Buddy? This, What's up, this guy. Too. Yeah. This guy is straight out of fucking um, Brink. I was just gonna yeah. say that. You got yeah. the hair and the teeth, bro. Your yeah, teeth are very yeah. long. Yeah, just uh, <laughs> big, <laughs> big ass gums. Yeah. Big ass gums. Big teeth. Uh, what's your name? I'm Kevin. Kevin. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what what are, what are all you guys? Do you, are you assigned to a show yet, or what are we doing? No, You're no show. Here. I'm a bets guy. Okay. Yeah. Horrible oh, yeah. gambler. Okay. Well, you'll are fit you a bad gambler? Yeah, I'm all right. PLL, I'm really good at. The Premier Lacrosse League. No, I, I yeah. know what it is. Yeah, so I'm good at that. But besides that, I'm pretty much awful. Can't. You know, oh. That's almost. like having like you the worst the right superpower spot. of all time. Yeah. It's, it's like, not I can make 50 bucks on PLL. Definitely, PLL. definitely yeah. not yeah. cool. There's like yeah. six games a year. Yeah, definitely not cool being down $500 <laughs> a week. Shit. Uh, all right, so intern week. Uh, you want to go down? Devin. Well, who else? How many are there? There's, There's like two. There's at least two more. What's your name? Devin. Devin, okay. Uh, normal hair. Penn State. Well, Penn State. See, we are. Call her daddy. Oh, boy. Call her daddy. We are is tough. Yeah. Is that still a thing? Are you really? I no? think it's. Are you? It's more of like a meme now. Like, it's yeah. like a joke. Like, right. Nobody yeah, you guys are a joke. So. That's for certain. Oh. Um, I mean, so, yeah, what, what exactly? Did, did anybody give you guys a what you're doing? Or are you just, like, here to just go? We're just doing, like, our normal duties. It was kind of just like we showed what is, up. What is normal duties, though? We all have different jobs. Okay, That's what's what yours? I mean, though. Like, what are you call working her on daddy. shows? Are yeah, so I'm, that I'm behind the yeah, scenes for Call Her Daddy. Radio. Okay. Oh. What, how do, you, do you have an intern? No, I don't have an intern. Well, what the fuck's that about? I, no, I don't know. There's no respect for I've you. I've never been assigned an intern. Do you what, just ask for one? What do you need help with? I don't know. Everything. <laughs> what does that I got, mean? I got, what do I need help with? My shows. You need to get on TikTok. You know, I, I realize <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, this is the face for TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but you could definitely clip stuff for, like, unnecessary roughness, like, once, hopefully. You think I could do that? Yeah. Why are you asking me? Maybe you have a new intern. I, I was listening yesterday, and then I looked to see if you guys had a TikTok, and you didn't. So if you need a Casey, TikTok. She you should, Devin, you should Listen, get one and sell like Devin's it. Sell it to your TikTok, you want to be the unnecessary so. roughness intern? Let's, uh, yes, I want to run your TikTok. There you go. Well, no, wait. I, we're going to do a TikTok? She's going to do it for you. You're a wiggle dicker now. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. Wiggle that Brandon, dick, let me big see boy. some TikTok moves. No, I, I, I hate the TikTok. On, All they do something. is dance with their arms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see it. Let's see it. <laughs> there, there you go. go. Oh, shit. There you go. This is, this Wait, is not dancing. Can you hit the wild? The what? Yeah, <laughs> I'll throw it up to you. I'll throw it up to you. No, I don't know how to do it. Bro, I'm going up. Hit the know. wall. I'm going to do it. Hey, Brandon. You do it. Brandon. Oh, 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 oh. What are you? I don't catch it. I don't know. I don't know. He just broke the stick. He just broke. I don't know. How do you do that? I feel like Sean Merriman. Do God, what do you I do? love having you around because I don't know how to do it, but I feel right. cool. You just can put it on yeah. the uh, You
Well, you're the one that wants to be on TikTok or something. No, I want to help run you. It for I, you. I, I well, tell me how to do it. How do I do it? There you go. That's it. That's <laughs> the new dance. There <laughs> <laughs> you go. Oh, oh, you your stupid face. face. Or something. Right, Anger. So, wait. Well, I say we start the TikTok today, and that's the first. What is this? Yeah, this, 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 is is me, this is just me talking with my right, hand. Casey's over there. Y'all get the TikTok ready. She'll do any thirst trap you want her to do. <laughs> no, you, yeah, you. <laughs> All right. Well, actually, that could be your TikTok. Is that you know when you I when know. you when you mimic her thirst? Yeah, track. that's I funny. I know. Right. That's I, funny. I know. I'm very talented. All right. <laughs> all right. So Brandon's got himself a new uh, TikTok yes, intern. Yes, I, I will run your TikTok. So. And, and you guys will all be here for the week. Is that good job? Yeah. Congrats right. on the TikTok, bro. So intern's around for the week. <laughs> See you guys tomorrow for the run. Follow unnecessary roughness there on you TikTok. Go. She's already promoting. <laughs> She's already working. <laughs>